Is the number to call. Uh, we're keen to hear your snow stories here on LBC 97.3. Text away at 84850 as well. Julia joins me now in Northwood with another issue, of course, with the bad uh, weather. Julia, tell us about it. Oh, yes. We actually have all the electricity down. There's a big, massive cable oh. that's completely cut up all the electricity, all gas and for heating, no electricity at all. Yeah. And that's what we're going to have to do whatsoever. Um, people are going down the road with their torch lights and dogs to check out the elderly people, the children and sure. babies. We've got nobody up here to rescue us here. We were smack bang opposite Mount Vernon Hospital. We've had no help. Nobody come in to the house in the flat of Northwood, just down the road from Watford. Um, but, you know, we are in the middle sex. We actually had been earlier on down to visit some elderly people down at Pinner. Elton John's neighbourhood, Nick and Woods. Yeah. Um, needed to say shame on this country because actually now, the Norfolk Hills, Norfolk, all electricity is down. People are going in their cars to get the heating on in their cars because there's no heating in the homes, they're heating in the flats. Here at Selma Gardens, Norfolk, Bigmansworth Road, the whole lot, the traffic lights, everything is out. And it's been um, out since 6 o'clock. Today, Yes, 6 p.m. this evening. Oh, it's been the worst ever as we've ever known. I've got gas rings going to keep the flat, um, you know, to try and get the ice to not freeze up overnight. And the bit the gas cooker going as best as I can. Um, and obviously, you know, we're without the ice. That's an expensive. Um, have you been able to, Julia, sorry to interrupt, have you, been, have you been able to get through to anyone? I mean, obviously, that is a dire situation. Uh, well, never mind the expense. Well, it's a third world country scenario. I could possibly imagine if I was an ex commander in Italy, yes, I'd understand. But I'm supposed to be in the England, I'm supposed to be moving forward in 20k. And it's just disgusting that, you know, we're not even looking at, hey, help for the government, hey, our local council. And I'm believing me, we've been out since um, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. And while we've been out and stuff, and we didn't realise we were going to come back to you, knowing the full well of Horrible Food and Northwood and West London, there's no underground train. So actually, down the signs, there's a knock on effect. The whole electricity is down. Um, that's actually, you know, one thing to the next is obviously cut our national grid supply. Yeah. And no one's, no one's given you uh, an indication as to when the power will... Uh, I actually checked um, and phoned directly to the um, Northwood Power Company and they said that the electricity, um, the chat there wasn't helpful until when you get another number. I even had to speak to my own mother because our telephone lines are down because of electricity. But I actually luckily got through to my mother. My mother's down at Pinner's phone. The um, electricity to people on my behalf as an emergency, unbelievable. Um, and then in terms of that, she actually got the call back. Um, back to you, she said, they will take me update us on progress as we're placing and building cables. I have actually learned four wheel drive vehicles coming up by an electricity company. Um, apparently, the four wheel drive vehicles are run by these 
I'm Rachel Silver. Travellers are facing chaos as snow has caused problems across London. Heathrow Airport is fully closed until tomorrow. Gatwick, Stansted and Luton Airports are now open, but due to the weather disruption, delays and cancellations will continue this evening and into tomorrow. The icy conditions have claimed three lives in the Republic of Ireland. A girl was killed in a sledging accident, and a mother and her young son died in a road crash.